Hello everyone, my name is Victoria and I'm an international student in China and today I'm going to show you how I live, like where I live and today I'm going to show you the dormitory and the neighborhood around so let's go So this is the actual territory of the dormitory of my university and this is like really really huge and in these houses we are living all the students actually Chinese students and like on this territory we have only two buildings for international students and it's like they're far <laughs> kind of because like the, this is like really really huge territory Right now, me and my friends are going to have lunch. So it's like very interesting place. It's called Malatan, and I'm going to show you how it works. Like it's not just the restaurant or cafe where you ordering something from menu. It's a bit different. By the way, you can see these boxes in here, and this is where like this is contactless delivery. So this is the place where we're gonna eat right now and this is called Malatan. This is the place where we're gonna eat. It's like really popular in China. These products are all that you can choose from and put them in your plate. So you can choose anything. And they're gonna make a soup from it and it's gonna cost as much as you, like as much as the plate weight. So we have like everything here. So here you can choose the sauces for your soup. We just take the smaller plate. Yeah, and just put there whatever you want. It can be the soy sauce and some green things. <laughs> Yeah, this is how it looks like for me today because they don't have the peanut sauce. I usually add this one too. And I'm gonna take this small peanut. What is that? But this is like peanuts in there. 
And you also can take something to drink, like just water or the berries, juice or like whatever it is. I usually take both of them <laughs> because like it's free, right? <laughs> this is how it's look like. And now one thing left to do is just to take our soup and enjoy it. So we finally got our soup plates, it's like really huge. We have like everything here and you can take also the Chinese sticks or yeah my English here is going down every day because yeah I don't really use it and hello <laughs> there's a little girl and she just telling us everything about everything here so I supposed to try it and say you how it tastes but it tastes good because I was <laughs> because because I was <laughs> yeah I already like know how it tastes I already had it before and <laughs> yeah this is like really good and if you're ever gonna be in China like you need to try this because people eat it a lot and Chinese people love it it's not just one place in just our neighborhood on our street no it's like can be everywhere in every street it's called small town and you just google it no you cannot google it because google here is cancelled but you can put it somewhere in your like on the internet like malatan and yeah just go there and try this amazing thing really really good and it's really big it's huge Right now I'm going to show you the bakery in the neighborhood, like the best bakery here on the street. The bakery products there are like are very tasty. They're like the quality of them like it's really really high and it's really pretty inside. So let's go. So we were just walking down the street and then I found out that here is something happening, something going on and let's go and see what's, what is there.
I think this is some kind of street market happening here. I don't know why they decided to organize it today here. On this street there is a lot of, like in this little square, a lot of events happening <laughs> like every week and today is street market. This is surprisingly nice, <laughs> surprisingly amazing. Yeah, I love it. And I don't know, maybe some students doing this right now, like maybe this is students sitting here. Unfortunately, I don't really understand why they decided to make street market today. Like, I like everything here, but my favorite is the tarot thing because like it's such a Balinese vibe. I love it so much. So I want to tell you a little bit about the neighborhood where I'm living and where is my university located right now. But actually it's not where exactly my university located. My university has like two campuses here and in the city center. This neighborhood is especially for like students. It's also called like students town, something like that. And like in Chinese on the territory of this like neighborhood here are like eight different universities and one of them is mine <laughs> and there's like eight dormitories eight different dormitories of eight different universities and they all located in one neighborhood this neighborhood is really quiet and this is actually amazing for students because here you have whatever you want like we have everything in this neighborhood uh, and the prices here of course like they are not that high as in the city center because Shanghai is like very very big like huge city of China and the prices there like they're really high and for us as for students it's amazing to live in the quiet place uh, with cheap prices where you can buy whatever you want and like we have everything here for study it's very comfortable and not that complicated as it could be if we would live in the city center yeah that's amazing if we want to party or clubbing or hanging out we just go into the city center it's not that hard so because we have like metro in our big city also i want to say that today is 11th of november so it's like 11 11 thing happening right now and i'm planning to order a lot of things from the internet from the special like internet shops that's really popular in china especially like for students we order everything through websites and today i think i'm gonna order a lot of stuff from the websites and internet and if you want to see them you want to see the unhole just follow me and leave some comments please it's gonna like support me a lot So this is the little shop that's located on the territory of our dormitory and I'm going to show you what's inside like without going out you can just come here and buy whatever you want especially if you live like nearby somewhere here for example I live a little bit far but it takes me only like two minutes to come here 
and buy something what I want but it's closed at about like 10 p.m. so it's not like 24 hours but anyway it's comfortable by the way in China the chocolate is not that popular like this is the maximum what you, we can have here the small bar of chocolate and it's cost like a bit expensive for itself Chinese people don't really like chocolate they don't like sweet tastes here you, we can find like everything for the home for the like food Also, my high recommendation for you is this juice like this is like really really natural taste and this is like really good I think I'm gonna take the coconut one right now and also my favorite is the lychee and like they are like really really I know like natural and they taste taste so good like they just fresh made so yeah I'm gonna take this one By the way, Chinese people love cats and here are a lot of cats on the territory of our dormitory in the neighborhood and they feed them and they put like little homes for them, like little houses so they can sleep well. How many cats we have? Like we have huge, like millions, hundreds of cats on the territory and no one like, you know, shouts at them or like kick them or just like wants them to leave. No, students buy food for them and feed them, like they spend their own money, that's amazing. I love cats, like I'm a cat lover, so uh, yeah, this is the best thing ever. This is the small one, the small one, baby, looks like it's just a kitten, oops like the small one actually the Chinese cats they are really huge yeah I don't have food for you I'm sorry uh, so just... this is another one it's just like you know the same place but there is another one and we have a lot of them it's just cold right now so I think they just hiding somewhere but yeah we have a lot of cats 